But hey, folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in Old Man in the Land of Grills. Folks, we're, we're changing out. Yeah, we're, we're, we've given Monument Grills plenty of time to answer questions about their controller. They're claiming it's PID, and I'm not doubting that it's PID. A lot of people ask, Tom, what's PID? Proportional Integral Derivative. It's a program that's in that controller, and uh, the one that's in the Monument, it's just too slow. When, when, when I set the 300, it takes you know, almost an hour to get up to 350 degrees. And, and that, uh, that's ridiculous. So what we've done today is we swapped out their controller, the Monument, with Smoke Daddy from uh, Pell Pro. This is a great company, American uh, company, uh, Gurney, Illinois. Folks, I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna show you what I did to do this. And you know what, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up this other Monument. This is a smaller one, this is a 22 inch. This is a 20, 26 inch. We're gonna fire this one up first. Fire this one after it. We're gonna get them going and sit on both the 350 and see which one gets there first. Remember, what we're going through here today is it doesn't matter how good your pellet grill is, it's all about the controller. So let's right, get going. So you're saying, Tom, how are you gonna how are you gonna get this out? So when this grill came, it came with this inside of here. So I know how to put it together. It's these three nuts, the bolts right here, screws, gotta come out, and there's one plug. That I gotta get out, and that's down in there. And I'll pull that out, unplug it, and then take those three screws. And then I'll be e very easily be able to take this out, and down in the shop will go. All right, welcome to the shop. Uh, actually, there were five bolts. I said three. There's actually two more up there. Uh, five of them. So we'll get this flipped on its side. And uh, when I get that out of there first, I, I gotta locate some sheet steel that I'm gonna fill in the gap. Because remember, we are putting this in that hole and it's not going to fit in that hole so we're going to have to do just a little bit of sheet metal work to make it fit get it plugged in get it painted i'm going to probably pop rivet on the sheet steel sheet metal and then we'll get it back in the grill and see how uh, it works. I, I had some here perfect 22 gauge this is just some light, light metal uh, sheet steel and uh we're just at six inches we're just going to cut it to fit and now we can get that out of there all right so we're in we got the guard off so this would be if you were looking up inside from below when your uh, pellet hopper is in there, you can see we've got a, that's our main fan there. That's where it blows and keeps the fire going. Uh, you can see a little fan there in the motor that controls your auger. Uh, you've got your temp gauge right there. Uh, there's some other gauges right here. One, one is uh, for temp gauge. One is for the uh, probe that's inside. You've got uh, black and white is, we're going to have to label all these so we know where they're all going because on the Smoke Daddy, the colors are just a little bit different, but the plugs are the same. And what's nice about the Smoke Daddy is that on the back of the box, see how things labeled there? So really, even if you forgot where things were, you all you gotta do is you hook up your wire so it goes to the fan, to the auger, to the fire pot, and you, a lot of times it's just tracing the wire. And um, and sometimes you know, even if you don't know one of them, you get the other ones, and then there's only one left. So um, you know, easy peasy. So let's, uh, hardest thing is getting this thing out because it's in there with clips and I can put my hands up there and get the clips out. Once I can get them out, then I'll, uh, I'll cut the zip ties and get that out of there. All right. So I, I wrote everything down where everything goes, uh, the stuff that stays. So I, you know, and, and they have them. So purple, uh, this is your, uh, this is your, your probe. And uh, you've got uh, these that all stay. And I don't, these plugs are universal. I've taken a lot of a lot of pellet grills apart in my days, folks. And one thing that always blows my mind is how universal the plug ends are. And so that you can just take the controller like I'm doing today from Smoke Daddy and uh, put it in this pellet grill. And what's amazing is that it will work. And now we'll just uh, pull this out of here. Got this one here. This has got to take out this grommet. Feed this through here. And everything comes, comes out just like that. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do the sheet metal. We're gonna have to cut a hole, and uh, we've got plenty of room in there for this to fit. 
I'm probably just gonna go right here and uh, probably on the low side and make it fit there. And then we'll cut our sheet still to fill in this gap and everything. We'll rivet it in place, paint it, then attach this uh, with two sheet metal screws, plug it in, put it back in. Seems simple enough, right? What could go wrong? All right, so I've scribed out on the sheet metal where I'm gonna cut. I'm probably gonna have to square up this corner a little bit. I've put some uh, sheet metal on the inside of the grill to protect it from any of the, I don't want any of the, the uh, filings or anything from the, or, or any sparks actually getting into the components or the wiring there. So I wanna protect that. So we'll get the cut. All right, folks, that's what I used to cut it out. Don't forget your safety glasses and got it in there. And it, it fits, overlaps in there pretty nice. Everything fits. And uh, there's your hole right there. I break all these corners with a grinder uh, so there's no sharp edges to get caught on any wires. And then uh, we'll work on our filler piece uh, to fill in the hole. That, uh, the more I look at that, that I may put on the inside and just rivet it in, in place. Uh, It'll be probably the easiest way of doing it. So keep on going. Give you a look. All right, just this week, I did a review on this little cordless uh, Dremel. And, uh, you know, what are you going to ever use that for? Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm going to use it for, just to break these edges. Perfect for that. All right, so there's our piece of sheet metal that we just cut to size here. And I wanted to make it the same size of the uh, of the Pell Pro controller. That way it looks more like it belongs. I'm gonna paint it black anyway, you're, you're gonna notice it. And there's the hole. I am gonna put a little RTV sealant around the hole so we seal it up so water can't get in there. And then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna install these with some rivets. And uh, once the rivets are on there, um, then I'm just gonna mask this off and just uh, some exterior Rust-Oleum black. And uh, we'll, we'll, yeah. It's going, going good. Oh, wait, we got to do all our connections first. Uh, but we'll do the painting first, and then we'll uh, install the Pell Pro, hook it up, get it back in the grill. Easy peasy. All right, I know I said I was going to use rivets, but I got a ton of these uh, sheet metal screws. Uh, and uh, it was there's no wires hanging underneath there, so uh, it's not a big deal. So we are going to tape that off and get it painted. And, well, uh, like I said, easy peasy. All right, paint's done. Uh, I, I'm not a... I'm not a sheet metal expert, nor am I a painter, but that's good enough for what we're doing here. And uh, made all the final connections. It, it's, you know, even if you forgot the right stuff down, uh, because on the back of the box of the Smoke Daddy, it gives you, it tells you, you know, the auger and the fan and the hot rod. And, and I, I, I got to put the guard back on, but I've got it all zip tied down. It ain't going there. You want to make sure that it's not getting into the, into the fan. And, uh, you know, I gotta move something, something around here because I see, I wanna move this like here and zip tie it real good so it does not get into the fan and tighten this one up. It's a good thing I showed you folks this so I saw what you just saw too. I wanna get it more like that. And then um, I could plug it in and just make sure I got power down here, but because we're not plugged in to the hot rod, this is for the hot rod, um, I'm just gonna throw a coat on the board. So uh, I'm just gonna, Get this button up with another zip tie or two and get the bottom on. Back in the grill it goes. Let's fire it up. All right, so I left everything off on this one. And you can see, <laughs> just like that, we got flame. We got smoke over there too. It'll just be a second before that one goes up. And then uh, we're gonna set them both to 350 and I'll let you watch for yourself. All right, you got fire in both grills. Got the pucks all set up. We're gonna close the lids, set them both for 350. All right, set for 350. Yeah, remember this controller is a couple years old. Right now it's reading 123, and uh, we're set for 350 there, and right now we're reading 159. Two minutes, 210, two minutes, 25. We shall see. At the three minute mark, 247, 244. All right, 350, that, was, that wasn't even 10 minutes, 275. You know, they're saying this is a PID, and uh, you know what? It, it could be a PID, it's just that the programming in that PID is too slow. Well, folks, check them out. If you've got like a pit boss or <laughs> a monument, and you wanna make it do what it's supposed to do, then uh, this is where you need to go. What we're gonna do next 
is we are going to turn this to high and see where this controller can take us while we wait for that to get to 350. All right, got them both set on high. You know what? I even took the monument thinking that would kick it in the butt a little further. H is for high. Let's see. Um, remember, this is the bigger one, the 26 inch. That's the 22 inch. Let's see uh, how hot this one can go and let's see what it is when uh, we get to there. All right, two minutes later, we're 400 on the uh, 26 with the Pillow Pro. Still haven't made it to 350 on the uh, 22 inch. Let's, you know what? Let's take a look at the uh, at the pucks. So we are 350 there. 65 over 400 there so doing a great job there on the pelt pro that's uh 321 here even though it's a high 300 300 300 it just takes a long time to get there and um they keep on telling me that that's that's okay you put your pellet grill on, set it for 350, and if it takes an hour to get there, that's okay. I, I don't think that's okay. That's doing the job right there. You're saying, Tom, it's probably the pellets. No, I'm using the same pellets in both grills, and these are B&B, &B, folks. You can get them at Ace Hardware Championship Blend. These are hardwood, pecan, cherry, post oak. <laughs> this is awesome. Folks, we finally made it. <laughs> a, good, a good job doing a monument controller. We finally made... Uh, 350. So it's supposed to be PID, but it just went down. And it's 352. It's set on high. Tell it's something high here. And we're 431. Lots of pellets there. Same pellets like I said, just showed you. Smoke Daddy, folks. Check them out. All right. I don't, I honestly, this controller is a couple years old. So uh, 452 right now. And. Uh, yeah, there, there we are, 382 on the uh, on the monument. So th this kind of proves that change out the controller. It's all about the controller. Put a decent controller in here and get up to 350 in no time. Uh, it's a PID controller. That doesn't mean that this is not a PID controller. It's just that it's programmed different. Let's take a look at TAMS on the inside. And 450, 450, 475, 485 see where oh my gosh we might hit 400 here <laughs> yeah we're a little about 365 375 375 there so it's it's all about the controller folks hope you enjoyed this leave your comments thumbs up Pell pro check them out tom horseman at youtube thanks for watching folks